right, well, I am up here in northern Saskatchewan today on a trout pond. There are splake and tiger trout in here. I caught my first tiger trout on this lake uh, right before Christmas. I'm getting set up and uh, just sorting things out still. So I got a camera going right there. Um, at this spot, I'm in about five feet of water right along a rock ledge. So I got the flasher with my rod right there. And then out here, it's a nice lake. I'm right, uh, right close to an island out here. And out here, I'm uh, testing out a homemade jaw jacker. So we're gonna see how it turns out. Um, I brought the actual jaw jacker if, um, if it's not gonna work out or anything like that, but I'll show you what it looks like. So it's just some uh, scrap PVC pipe and whatnot. And I got it connected up to a mouse trap here. The bar hooked through a snap swivel in the eyelet there, and the line's just sitting over top of the mouse trap. So when something bites it, it's gonna knock the little cheese pad down, which will spring the uh, jaw jacker up. So I'm gonna finish getting set up. Hopefully uh, get into some action. It's still pretty early in the day for trout right now. Um, it's probably only about one o'clock in the afternoon and generally they won't start right before evening. So I got one set up a little bit deeper, about eight feet. And then last time I was here, I was catching them in 4.8 feet of water. It's right off a point here. So hopefully I was setting up my uh, jaw jacker and I got a splake. He's uh, this is, whoops, slippery. This is a good size for this lake here. So I'm gonna keep them. We'll throw them in the pan for later. I can't believe I missed it, man. I might have to move uh, that was an 11 feet of water. So they might be right there right now. But anyways, I'm on the board. Looking good height. Oh, he got off. Damn it. He was on there. Took my bait and all. Oh, got one! Oh, and he's gone! Oh, dude! This is so exciting, though. So here's the uh, splake that I got on my homemade jaw jacker, made out of a mouse trap. Um, I was just setting up and it happened to go off and I didn't think there was anything there and then my rod started going like crazy and it's because there was a fish on there. So anyways, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna eat this one tonight on the ice here, uh, but I'm gonna fill it or skin them out here quick before it gets uh, too frozen for me. And I didn't bring a filleting knife, because I forgot it. I love trout. I have a weird obsession with them, probably because I have to travel so far to get them. But I love uh, ice fishing for them, and I love fly fishing. So there, there's a nice little headless fillet there. I'll throw them in the pan with some butter and garlic, and I'll eat the skin and everything. Give the head to the puppy. Since I've caught this one, I've had two more hits, once on the jaw jacker and once on my rod, and I missed them both. But uh, once the evening rolls around here, I'm hoping it'll really pick up. As long as my cameras don't die, it's like minus 26 out. Woo, baby, another splake. Oh no, it's a tiger! Yes!
It is a my second tiger trout. Look at that. Cool. I just caught my second, uh, holy crap. My second uh, tiger trout ever here. Look at those beautiful. This boy is slippery, son. Look at, holy crap. My second uh, tiger trout ever. He's a lot bigger than my other one that I caught. Absolutely beautiful colors, but it is minus 26 right now, so we are gonna put him back in the water because I have my supper for tonight, which is that splake that I caught. And he is gone. So all we're doing is just a jig and a minna. And they are biting on that. They don't like a power bait at this lake. Well, I haven't had a bite in a, in a while. And I'm getting a little hungry. So I, I'm gonna head to shore and uh, I'm gonna grab some firewood. I'm gonna start a little fire closer to shore. And I am going to cook up the splake that I caught. Set up the real jaw jacker. And while I'm gone, we're gonna see who can outperform who here. Either uh, my jaw jacker that I made with the mouse trap or uh, the actual jaw jacker. Um, but it's been slow. I think I'm gonna have to move in shallower right away. Uh, which is fine because I actually have the tent set up where I want to be for the evening sit. Okay. Look at how deep the snow is. Nuts, man. Forgot my snowshoes on the deck at the cabin, so that doesn't help me out. <laughs> Ouch. So I got my trout all, and my splake all cleaned up there. Throw them on top. He looks good. Oh yeah, look at that. That's good. My splake is cooked as good as it's gonna get for me. Um, it's a little bit raw on the one side, but that's totally fine because I don't mind eating some slightly raw or even fully raw trout. It's hard for me to keep the fire going because I wanted the fish. So the fire went out a couple times and then I just said, screw it. Look at that. Oh, a bone in here. I love trout, man. I love catching them and I love eating them. Yeah, she's a little raw, but totally fine. So good. Love it. All right. I could live off trout. I'm gonna fish in the meantime while I chomp down on my freshly caught splake. Let's catch some more. Getting to be pretty dark right now, so I think uh, I'm gonna call her a day. Ended up with those two fish and uh, had a good meal on the ice today and coming back out here again on Saturday, it's supposed to be really nice and there's gonna be more than just me too. So throw it on the sled and then hike up the big hill back to the truck. So see you guys on Saturday, I guess. <laughs>